king? And you never told us? All right, guys. So I got these Adidas shorts from TJ Maxx for fifteen dollars. I wanted to get boy shorts because the waist will fit my waist. If I were to get a men's size, the waist would be too big, and I'd have to alter it. And I just wanted this to be a very quick project. So all I'm gonna do is start by cutting off the leg, and I'm going to cut. Um, right below the pocket. You could even fold it in half, cut the bottom off. Alright, so this pant leg fits my top perfectly. So all I'm going to do is basically cut out the three stripes from the other pant leg and sew it onto here. And I'm going to cut on the line. I'm going to just cut directly on the side of the white line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut down this line. As you can see, on this side is where the stripes are, so I'm going to cut down that line. This is the part that I just cut open, and now I'm going to take the other Adidas stripe, and I'm just going to place it right on top, and then I'm going to sew a straight line. All right, so this is how it looks now that I've sewn the other Adidas patch on. So this is how the front of the top will look. And now all that I have to do is I need to cut off the excess fabric. So I know that this patch is about the same amount of fabric that I need to cut off in order to make it fit again. So I'm just going to snip this amount on the back side and then cut straight down straight as you can all that's left to do is flip this over and fold this to here and now I'm going to sew these two ends shut mind you I kept a little bit of fabric on this side so I'm going to sew directly next to the white line so that there's no excess. Now all that's left to do is even the ends up. I'm gonna line my shirt up nice and even. You can see two stripes on each side. You're gonna find something with a flat edge. I'm going to be using a rotary cutter. And there's your edge. 